Good afternoon, everyone, and warm welcome to our webinar, Building Custom AI Application Using Full Stack. We are thrilled to have you join us today. In this session, we'll be dive diving into the exciting world of AI and full stack development, exploring how these two powerful technologies come together to create innovative custom solutions. Let's get started on this journey of discovery and innovation. Before beginning today's webinar, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mohammed Mujtaba bin Murtaza. I am working as a business development manager at Royal Cyber. My role is to drive growth, building strong client relationship by delivering innovative solution and tailored to our client needs. I'm excited to share insights on cutting edge technologies and strategies that can unlock new opportunities in digital transformation world. I'm joined with uh, my team, uh, Zishan Mukhtar, our global head of full stack services with over 15 years of experience since delivery comprehensive solution across various industries verticals. Also with us is Aswan Yar, our full stack tech lead, whose expertise is full stack development with AI in, is crucial in driving efficiency and enhancing business operations. Let me quickly walk you through what we'll be covering today. Um, first, we'll be begin with an introduction to AI and full stack development, where we'll be talk about the basics of AI and how AI works with full stack technologies. Next, we'll be discussing AI ethics and principles, focusing on important guidelines to ensure AI is used responsibly. Then we'll be cover the planning and designing AI applications, including how to set project goals, gather data, ensure ethical design, after that, we'll talk about integrating AI with full stack application, showing you how to connect AI with front end and back end systems. We will also uh, look at the case studies on AI applications in Saudi Arabia to see real world examples of AI in actions. Finally, we'll be ending with our QA session where we can ask any questions you have about what we have discussed today. Before we discuss about various options for building custom AI applications using full stack technologies, allow me to introduce to a esteemed company, Royal Cyber. Royal Cyber has been a leader in the technology industry for over 20 years, providing innovative solutions to business growth across the world. With a global and local presence, we operate in 10 plus offices across five continents and have a dedicated team of over 2,500 employees, including certified consultants available on-site, onshore, and offshore. As a mid-sized organization, we focus on being customer-centric and provide tailored solutions that fit cultural and market needs with offering competitive economic considerations. We are committed to strategic partnerships and delivering the technology solutions that address our client unique need challenges. Our framework and value-added assets enhance our offerings, ensuring that we provide effective and efficient technology services. Additionally, our client benefits from reduced licensing costs through partner discounts, making Royal Cyber as a smart choice for business seeking to optimize their technology investment. Our customer-centric focus approach combined with our expertise make us well-equipped to help businesses succeed in ever-evolving digital landscape. Royal Cyber is known for its innovation excellence. We will be with clients from uh, various industries and uh, including the healthcare, banking, finance, retail, manufacturing, and new emerging sectors. With over 10 offices across five continents, we have strong global presence that allow us to offer personalized support and solutions to meet the unique needs of our clients. No matter their industry or locations at Royal Cyber, we dedicated to helping the business succeed with advanced technology solutions in a fast changing digital world. So we have a Middle East presence. I am from Riyadh office. Uh, we have our delivery center in Egypt. From here, we are covering overall Middle East, uh, which, uh, which includes Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, UAE, and Oman. These are our, some of our prominent clientele. Uh, from these regions, and uh, these are from different industry work verticals, government, BFSIs, telecommunication, manufacturing, and more. So 
So Royal Cyber is a proud partner with many top technology vendors, including Microsoft, IBM, SAP, Google Cloud, AWS, Oracle, and many more. The strategic partnership ensures that our client benefit from most innovative and cutting edge technologies available. By working with the leading vendors, Royal Cyber is able to provide comprehensive solutions that drive success and innovation in rapid evolving digital landscapes. Now I'll hand it over to my colleague Zishan Mukhtar to continue with the presentations. Over to you, Zishan. Thank you, Mr. Ba. Now let's shift our focus to the foundation of our discussion, introduction to AI and full stake development. Let's take a closer look at artificial intelligence or AI. Artificial intelligence refers to simulation of human intelligence and machine learning that are programmed to think, learn, and make decisions much like humans do. This technology plays a critical role in transforming, transforming how we interact with the world around us. Firstly, AI enables automation, significantly reducing manual tasks and boosting efficiency across various industries. For example, repetitive tasks in manufacturing or data entry can be automated, allowing human workers to focus on more complex activities. AI also enhances decision making by analyzing vast amount of data to provide insights and recommendation. This capability supports better data-driven decisions in areas like finance, healthcare, and business strategies. Another key benefit is personalization. AI systems can analyze user behavior and preference to deliver highly personalized experience, whether it is to through product recommendation, targeting marketing, or personalized running. Finally, AI fuels innovation by pro dividing advancement in various fields. From revolutionization, healthcare with predictive diagnostic to optim optimizing transportation with autonomous vehicle, AI is the forefront for technology innovation. AI is composed of several key components, each contributing its powerful capabilities. Machine learning, which includes supervised learning, where the model learns from labeled data. Deep learning, leveraging neural networks to model complex patterns, decision trees. Uh, AI flowchart-like structure for decision-making processes, unsupervised learning, such as clustering, where the model finds hidden pattern in unlabeled data. Second one is that uh, natural language processing, which enables machines to under understand and generate human language, including both speech and text. Another one is that uh, computer vision, which allows machines to inter interpret and make decisions based on visual inputs, such as recognizing object in major images or videos. Last one is robotic and manufacturing optimization, where AI is used to optimize production processes, improve quality control, and even automate and drive manufacturing system. Together, these components makes AI a versatile and powerful tool capable of transforming industries and improving our daily lives. Now let's uh, dive into full stake development and its key component. Full stake development is the comprehensive process of developing both the front end and back end of an application. It involves everything from designing the user interface that people interact with to managing the servers, databases, and application logic that powers behind the scene. Every application has two main parts, the front end, which is the user facing component and the back end, which includes the database and the logic that drives the application. Starting with the front end, there is, this is where user interact with the application. It includes the layout design and all the elements that makes the application visually appealing and easy to use. Technologies commonly used in for Content development includes HTML for stretching the content, CSS for styling the layout, JavaScript for adding interactivity. Additionally, modern frameworks like React and Angular and Vue.js help developers build dynamic, responsive user interfaces more efficiently. Moving to the backend, this is where the server-side logic results. The backend is responsible for handling requests from front-end, accessing the database, and sending the appropriate data back to the front-end. Common technologies used for in here include Node.js for running JavaScript on the server, Python and Ruby for handling service logic and operations database, databases such as MongoDB, MySQL, and Postgres for 
storing and managing data. But full stack development doesn't stop there. APIs plays a critical role in connecting the front end with the back end, allowing for smooth communication between different parts of the application. Additionally, server management and DevOps practices are essential for deploying, scaling, and maintaining the application. This includes setting up the servers, managing databases, automating its deployment processes, and monitoring performances to ensure everything runs smoothly. So here is the overview of artificial intelligence. So the Saudi Arabia strategic framework to reduce dependencies on oil diversity and diverse diversify the economy and develop public service sectors. So Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia Vision 2030 is based on AI initiatives where they are more inclined towards investment in AI and emerging technologies to drive, in economic, drive economic growth and innovation. They are also building AI-driven diagnostic and personalized medicine for healthcare section. They are like in education sector, they are in adding more AI enhanced learning and skill development. They are also working on the smart cities and businesses to grow their productivity using the AI. Now we will talk about some principles and ethics about how AI should work and how we can uh, we can implement AI with uh, with the overall ethics and principles. So let's focus on AI ethics and why it is crucial crucial in AI development. AI ethics refers to the set of principles and guidelines that ensures the development of use of AI technology aligned with human values and so social norms. As AI continues to play a more significant role in our lives, it's essential that we approach it, its development with a strong ethical foundation. There are several key reasons where AI ethical is vital. vital. Trust and adoption. So first and foremost, ethical AI foster public trust and acceptance. When people understand that AI systems are designed with their best interest in mind, they are more likely to embrace and use these technologies. Trust is foundational to the success of AI in any industry. The second one is regular regulatory compliance. Ethical AI development also ensures alignment with legal and regulatory frameworks as governments and institutions worldwide establish regulations to guide AI development, adhering to ethical principles, help organizations stay compliant, avoiding legal risk and penalties. Next one is preventing harm. One of the core purpose of AI ethics is preventing unintended harm. This means designing AI systems that do not reinforce biases, discriminate against certain groups, or cause any negative impact on individual individuals or communities. Ethical guidelines help developers create AI that is fair, just, and safe. The last one is social responsibility. Lastly, AI ethics encourages developers to consider the broader impact of AI on society. This includes thinking about how AI affects jobs, privacy, and even the enhancement environment. By taking a socially responsible approach, developers can ensure that AI contributing positively to the society, enhancing overall well-being of people and sustainability. Let's explore the key AI ethic principles that guide the development of responsible and ethical AI system. So let's start with fairness. The first principle is fairness. It's crucial that AI systems do not perpetuate biases or discrimination. Next, we have the privacy and security. Safeguarding personal data is utmost importance of an AI development. Humanity is Another key principle, AI should be designed to enhance human well-being and respect human dignity. AI should be also responsible and uh, should be developed with social and environmental benefit in mind. This principle encourages the promotion of AI applications that contribute positively to the society and the environment. Reliability and safety are essential to building a trustworthy AI system. AI applications must be reliable in their operations and safe to use. Use rigorous testing and validation to prevent failures or unintended consequences. Transparency and explainability are key of the key to ensuring that AI decisions are understandable to users. 
This involves making AI processes transparent and providing clear explanation for how decisions are made. Finally, accountability and responsibility are fundamentals to ethical AI development. Developers and organizations must be accountable for the outcomes of their AI systems, taking responsibilities for any errors or harm caused by caused and ensuring that there are mechanisms in place to address issues where they arise. Let's now discuss the compliance and regulatory consideration in KSA. A key area of anyone involved in AI development within the kingdom. AI is foundational pillar of Saudi Arabia's future, playing a crucial role in achieving the goals outlined in Vision 2030. As a part of the nation's ambitious economic diversification strategy, AI is being integrated across various sectors to drive innovation, enhance efficiency, and create new opportunities. There are several important compliances and regulatory factors to be con factors to be considered. Saudi Arabia has implemented stringent laws for ensuring the production of personal data, for example, the Saudi Data and Artificial Intelligence Authority has established guidelines that mandate how persons how personal data should be collected, stored in it, and used in AI application. Ethical AI development. The kingdom is also actively promoting ethical AI practices. The national strategy for data and AI is one of such initiatives that aims to ensure AI development aligned with ethical principles such as fairness, transparency, and accountability. Finally, it is important for AI developers in Saudi Arabia to comply with global AI ethics, ethics standards and guidelines. By aligning with international best practices, Saudi Arabia ensures its AI initiatives are not only locally effective but also globally competitive, fostering international collaboration and innovation. As Saudi Arabia positions itself as a leader in AI, adhering to these compliances and regulatory consideration is essential for sustainable and ethical AI development that supports the nation's Vision 2030 objectives. Now we will talk about the planning and designing of AI application. So there are crucial steps involved in planning and designing AI application. This process is essential for ensuring that AI solutions are effective, ethical, and aligned with organizational goals. So we will start with first step is to clearly identify the specific issues or opportunities that the AI application will address, understand the context and the stakeholder involved in the key for to framing the problem accurately. Next, establish clear measurable goals for the AI application. These objectives should align with your business or project needs. For example, you might aim to pro, pro improve customer service response times to enhance predictive maintenance in manufacturing. Whether the case, whatever the case, the objective should be specific, actionable, and directly tied to the problem at hand. Once the objectives are set, the next step to identify the data sources relevant to the problem. Data could come from surveys, sensors, transactional databases, web scraping, or more. It is Crucial, crucial to ensure that data is high quality and representative of the scenarios that AI will encounter. The data preparation phase includes several tasks, cleaning the data to handle missing values and correct errors, transforming it by normalizing, scaling, or encoding categor categorical variables, and finally splitting into training, validation, and test set. Each of these steps is vital for building a reliable AI model. Ethics must be at the forefront when designing AI system. This means ensuring, the, your, ensuring that your data and models do not perpetuate biases which can lead to unfair outcomes, techniques like bias detection and fairness constraint, as well as using the diverse data, data sets can help mitigate these risks. Protecting personal and sensitive data is also critical. Implement robust security measures to prevent data breaches and unauthorized accesses. Additionally, it is also important to make AI decision-making process understandable to user. This can be achieved by using interpretable models or providing clear explanation for more complex ones. Finally, designing AI system with the users in mind, ensuring they in they enhance user experience and well-being. This approach not only builds trust, but also ensures AI application is truly beneficial to everyone.
Next one is how we will integrate AI with full stack dev application. So how we can effectively connect AI models with both front end and back end system to create seamless interactive application. So there are several key areas and components that we will talk about here in starting with the architecture. The front end is where the user interacts with the application. It's built using frameworks like React, Angular, or VHS or to create dynamic and responsive user interfaces. Then the back end handles the server side logic, typically using technologies such as Node.js, Django, Python, or Flask. This is where data processing, authentication, and integration and with AI models occurs. The AI model itself is usually trained using frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and, uh, and ChatGPT. These models are then integrated into applications to provide intelligent features. On the front end, you can leverage frameworks like to enable dynamic UI updates. For example, AI prediction can update the UI without regarding a full page reload, providing a smooth user experience. You can also incorporate interactive features like chatbots, recommendation system, or real-time analytics dashboard, all powered by AI. These features make the application more engaging and responsive to the user needs. To ensure your application scale effectively, consider deploying your AI model as part of microservices architecture. This approach allows for better scalability and easier maintenance. Implement load balancing to distribute the computational load across the multiple instances of an AI service, ensuring consistent performance even under high demand. Authentication and authorizations are crucial for securing your application. Secure API endpoints using tokens and role-based access control to ensure that only authorized users can access sensitive features. Additionally, implement data encry encryption for both data in transit and at rest, protecting sensitive information from potential basis. To enable real-time communication between the client and server, use technologies like WebSocket. This is particularly useful for application that requires instantaneous updates such as live chat or real-time analytics. For streaming data processing, platforms like Apache Kafka or AWS Kinesis can handle real-time data ingestion and processing, allowing your AI model for respond to new data as it arrives. Improve performance by implementing caching for frequently predict prediction, reducing latency, and sp speeding up response time. Use asynchronous processing to handle long-running AI tasks without blocking the main application flow. This can be achieved with asynchronous API APIs and background processes, processing tools. Implement logging to maintain a detailed record of application behavior, which is essential for debugging and monitoring the health of your AI service. Finally, automate your deployment processes with CI-CD deployment practices to ensure consistent and reliable updates to your AI models and application codes. The last one is the integration points. Exposing AI model prediction via API endpoint using RESTful APIs or GraphQL to facilitate communication between the front end and AI model. Use middleware to manage the flow of requests and response between the front end and back end and AI model, ensuring smooth integration. Data flow should be clearly defined, illustrating how data moves from user input through the back end to the AI model and back to the front end. This flow ensures that the AI model's predictions are accur accurately reflected in the user interface. So let's dive into the full stake AI development application architecture, which is essential for creating robust and scalable AI solution that effectively integrate foundational models with various application layer. So first up layer is the application. Uh, application layer. The application is a forefront-facing forefront tool for interface using interact with the engaging foundations models like, such, like, such as ChatGPT and others, other uh, models. When designing the application, it is crucial to focus on scalability and efficiency, especially given the demands of generative AI application, real-time processing capabilities are often required, but required, particularly for applications that need instant feedback or interaction incorporating Human feedback loop is also vital as the they allow domain experts to refine and guide the AI performance, ensuring that AI delivers meaningful and accurate results. 
Next one is prompt. The prompt is the set of spe specific instructions, context, and constraint provided to the foundation model to achieve a particular task or objective. Building a, a library of well-designed prompts tailored to specific business functions or domains can be significantly enhance the effectiveness of an of the AI. It is also important to support diverse input diverse input points such as images, audio, or text, allowing the model to handle various forms of data and tasks. As the use of AI models becomes more widespread, new skills and roles such as prompt engineering will emerge. These roles will be critical for effectively efficiently interacting with models and accelerating the development of AI application. Moving to the foundational model. The foundation model is pre-trained machine learning models that has been trained on vast amount of core data, including text, images, and audios. Audios. Example including GPT-4 or DALI 2. Uh, it is all it is also important to continuously monitor and experiment with available models and vendors to ensure that your applications are leveraging the best possible technology. Efficient model development and interfaces interference are crucial, and this requires careful consideration of factors like computational resources, latency, and scalability. Additionally, evolving the architecture for model interoperability is essential as it is it helps in understanding how models make decisions which in turn build trust and allows for better fine tuning last one is data data serves as the fundamental uh, fundamental building block for large language models llms this core data is used to initially training and fine tuning the foundational model when it, dealing with the data is it is important to consider the most optimal data consumption strategy where the whether it is involved building proper proprietary databases, boosting existing ones with external data, or buying data set that can enhance the model performance. Careful management of data sources and quality is crucial for ensuring the AI model perform accurately and effectively. A well structured, full stake application architecture integrates the application layer, prompt intelligence, foundation model, and data management, resulting in a scalable, efficient, and inter credible AI system that meets the needs of modern businesses. Now we will talk about a case study and a demo that we have created for this, this specific webinar and I'll hand it over to our, my, my colleague Aswan. Aswan, please take over. Hi everyone, this is Aswan Yar, a technical lead at Royal Cyber. Today I'll walk you through the demonstration of Cloud Sync Copilot. So before proceeding directly toward the demo part, let's understand the objective behind building this copilot. So the main goal behind building this copilot is to provide ease of access to different type of user. The user could be business user, developers, infrastructure managers, client, and directors as well. So this Cloud Sync Copilot will provide all these type of user to access to the servers where the applications are hosted. So they could query about the status of the application. They could update the deployment status of the application from deployed to undeployed. They could see the error logs and many more actions. So let's start with the problem statement and see how this idea came to our mind. So here we can see all these type of user are interacting with the admin and admin is interacting with the server. And it call, cause lots of communication gap and dependency on a human being. <clears throat> and all of these type of user have no idea about the technical terms and queries the admin could run on these platforms to bring the details. So here the idea behind building this copilot is to replace the admin and provide ease of access to the data to all the other users like business user, infrastructure manager and developer or could be admin as well. So after replacing the admin with Cloud Sync Copilot, now 
we can see that CloudSync Copilot is directly communicating with the servers and handling the queries coming from different types of users. And it will automatically understand the user query and transform their queries into the server language and provide the response back to the users in the user's language. So let's see the workflow of CloudSync Copilot. Here we can see a user will ask a query. CloudSync Copilot will see the specific plugin that requires to hit to get response from the server against the specific query raised by user. And the CloudSync Copilot will automatically transform the user query into a server command. And after getting response from the server, CloudSync Copilot will transform the response into the natural language that users can understand. <clears throat> so it eliminates lots of complexities for the users who needs to interact with the servers. And also we can see the issues uh, organization are facing without the copilot could are uh, like they could have security concerns uh, they have lots of dependency on other users or other human beings and it's a time consuming right now and they can't have the real time insights and monitoring without the available admins for these servers so after having the copilot we can see that our productivity is boosted. We are no more dependent on human and its availability time constraints. A copilot could be available 24 seven and it can resolve the queries more faster than human beings. And it is a uh, gen AI powered, which can understand the human query and can transform the human query into the command so after CloudSync Copilot we are more productive so let's move to the demo part and see how it actually working so here we are on CloudSync Copilot screen and this CloudSync Copilot is Gemini AI based Copilot and we have some of the queries already listed here. We'll go with the first one and see how it shows up the list of all deployed APIs. So let's select the business group with Royal Cyber and let's select the environment. We'll go with the sandbox because we are testing it right now and here it brings up all the apis listed on this environment some are rtf space some are cloud app base and it bring up the apis domain status last modified target and type as well so we have a ability to um, add more columns through it we can remove some columns we can update the view of this list if we want this in table if you want this in a list if you want this in a summary we can improvise the response as well so here we have a list of all apis but we can see some of the uh, apis are in running state but and some are not running state so let's filter out the ones which are in not running only so let's ask it to create a list of api or show me a list of apis which are not running so let's see how it create a list of the apis which are in not running so here we can see it's just bring up the domain name of the apis which are in not running state so that's a good thing we can show the response as well like this rather than the tables so we have all the like availability of define the response format so here uh, we can see all the APIs which are in not running state and also it's mentioning that like these are undeployed ones. So it means these are in not running state. So let's find out 
to double check what is the deployment status of one of these api so let's run through the simple query to get the deployment status what is the deployment status of let's go with the cloud one so we pick up this cloud one and see so here we can see it says that the deployment status of cloud one is undeployed so we also have the capability with this copilot to make this api up and running so let's start uh, the api named cloud one <coughs> So here we can see it's saying that your application has started. So that's a good thing to double check it. We'll run through the previous query again to check out what is the status of this API is right now. What is the deployment status? So it's in deploying state right now, which is very good. I think and previously it was undeployed and right now it is in deploying. So that's the great thing and let's if we want to stop this uh, api again we will run through the same query as start one stop api named sorry cloud one so it will update its state from deploying to stop so let's run the same query again to check the deployment status of this api right now so what is the deployment status of cloud one it's undeployed right now so that's cool because we just stopped it and it's again in undeployed state so right now let's move on to the log side if we have an application which is running and we have to find out the logs of that application so let's see how we can ask it so we'll run through the simple query fetch the latest logs for api we'll go with the same one named cloud one so let's see so no recent log founds because this application was undeployed and uh, let's run the same query with some other api to check it hello rc we have another q uh, api so let's see how it bring up the logs so here we can see it's bring up the logs where it mentioned the logger name thread name timestamp message purity <clears throat> so it's also mentioning that these are system logs these are info logs and these are again system logs. there's no warning or some other right now and here we can see a log filter uh, it's uh yeah your application has started successfully and here we can see another log is starting flow this so we can see all the logs are listed these are the latest logs for this specific api which is named as hello rc so let's check what is the uh, let's check uh, what is the deployment history so what is the deployment history for the API named hello RC. So we have mistyped here again, but it understand our intent and bring up the response so it's get the details of recent deployment for that specific api <clears throat> so here we can see we have a deployment id create time start time and end time so this is the all deployment history for that specific api so let's run through some of the basic queries uh, about the uh organization detail our current or default region so let's see let's start with the what is our default region 
so let's bring up your default region is us east 2 so if i want the complete organization details let's see what details it brings up yeah let's bring up the organization detail which we selected earlier named as royal cyber and it's environment should be yeah sandbox and the available environments are the production sandbox and here we can see its region and the worker types are there with the memory space and cores and the weight and max static ips and max deployment groups sandbox application so let's ask it a query against any of the listed data let's ask it straight away like what is our max static uh, ips So here we can see its static IP is one, which is listed above as well. And it's bring up the uh, complete detail. The text you provided states that the max static IPs for your organization, Royal Cyber is four. However, it states you currently have one static IP in use. So one in use, four in total count. So max static total IPs are four. We can see in the above all organization detail and in use we have fun so this was all about the cloud sync copilot from my side thank you everyone